Hey everyone, I'll show you four new ways using which you can make your chat super power. Now on AI agent, you used to add the LLM. But now your LLM will have a capability of web search without relying on any kind of a third party tool out there. This tool is with us for a long time, but we are going to see the actual capability using which you can make your chat a superpower over there, using which you can do the branching and do much more thing. Then this tool is new. So now we can add the human in loop confirmation while your AI agent is giving you the response. Not only Gmail, but if you go over here, we have multiple options over here. It could be Telegram, it could be Slack, it could be WhatsApp. So that the AI agent can send the message in the WhatsApp. You can reply over the WhatsApp, then the AI agent will give the response to the chat. Now we have a derivative of this response to chat as the tool part of the AI agent so that you can send a message to a user that you are collecting the answer while your AI agent is working in the backend and collecting the answer and then giving the response. It's more of making your chat more engaging to a user than your user waiting for a long amount of time for the answer. So now let's first come over here and send the hello. As usual, it gives us the normal response of what we are getting along. Hello, how can I assist you? Now let's see much more fun right now. So let's try to uh, search something. So let's see what is the weather in Mumbai right now. If you send this thing, so now we don't have any kind of a tool which will go and search for the web part over there. But now it is going online and searching through the LLM over there. So now we can see that we have got the temperature and it has not used any kind of a third party web search tool out there. It has used the basically the LLM which has the web search capability. If I open this LLM, inside this we can see that we have a web search functionality. How to get that? You can come over here. There is the add built-in tool and click on that. Then you'll be seeing this web search functionality. Not only the common web search functionality, but you can add your own website over here. If you come over here, if you select the web search allow domain, you can add your website over here. Then it will go and search your website. So you don't need to update. So your LLM is up to date with your LLM information. No rag, nothing is needed over here. Okay, just a note over here that this won't work with the GPT 4.1 mini. If you want to use this, you can use GPT 4.1 or 5 out there. So this is the web search part. Then also did you note one thing, this node was called. What it did? So when we were asking the question, what is the weather in Mumbai right now? It gave the answer is I am checking the current weather in the Mumbai for you. So that the user get a feedback that your AI agent is working properly. Now if I open this and inside this, we can see that we have given a description that send a message to chat and do not wait for a response. Just keep going. Now we have disabled this wet for user response and in the message we are letting the AI give whatever message they want to say. Okay, if we had turned on this wait for user reply, so if there is some kind of a confusing answer that the user is not able to answer, it will wait from the user input then it will give the answer. Okay, so let's do one more thing that we want a human confirmation. So let's uh, let's say, can you ask your manager that I want a 10% discount on this order? So we are asking for the 10% discount on this order. Since AI agent cannot directly take the decision, it will send a mail for the confirmation. So as you can see, it is sent a mail for confirmation. So as you can see, we have got a mail that customer has requested a 10% discount on its order. Could you please confirm if the discount can be approved? So if I click on approve, now as we can see, got it, thanks. Now if you go to the AI agent over there, so now we can see that good news, the managers approved the 10% discount on your order. Is there anything else I can assist you with? That's so great over here that it waits for the confirmation from a user then it replies back and not taking any kind of a decision on its own. So now we are getting all the response from over here. But if you go inside this and if you toggle this wait for user reply, it will wait for the reply over there and it will act as a starting point. What do I mean by that? Let's come over here and let's say hey again. It's a normal message over here. Now we got a reply over there. But as you can see, it is currently in the blue state. It means that now it is the starting point from where the new conversation will begin. Now we can see the hello again. How can I help you today? So if I say my name is Lakshit. So it won't start from over here now. Now the starting point is this. Now if I send this message, so we can see nothing is happening right now because if I open this, this is outputted this message where we can see chat input is my name is Lakshit. It means that you can make your flow more and more uh, robust over here by adding the branching and whatever logic you want to add by considering this is a starting point. In future also, if you want to add, just come over here, respond to chat and make this wait for a user reply. Then you can make more and more robust complex logic over here. So now as you can see, Anton has given us so much flexibility so that you can make your own chat model very robust and very complex to handle every kind of a conversation you want to handle out there. So my name is Lakshit and if you like this video, please let me know what part did you like it? What is a new update which you loved a lot? Let me know in the comment box. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care.